So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first US title? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make it yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee has graced the octagon. He is ready to fight. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> champion fighting out of the red corner ladies and gentlemen presenting a reigning defending undisputed ufc heavyweight champion of the world bruce the dragon lee one of the best in the business Ready herb dean is our referee Ready. tonight Let's do it. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd, and a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got to beat out of him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Oh, slips to a goal the right. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. An early takedown play. Making all these shots count. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Straight punch is good. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Oh, big elbow. Tries to mix in a takedown here. Some more output, at least in the early going. Nice straight right lance. to the head. Just missed with the left there. And there's another takedown attempt. And that one certainly found the target. Back and forth to go. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head. 
head and stay in this fight. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with beating. Lands the side kick now. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output in place. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice block. Back to the jab now, no good. Hands up. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. Two minutes to go here in round one. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination there. You go here. How about the speed with which he is able to just toss his opponent to the mat? The moment they came close, he knows. I got to fire in my hips, load you up, and throw you. That's exactly what he did. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch of the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lands. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Ooh, side kick, well timed there. Another nice kick there, solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, the leg kick lands. I'm spamming leg kicks if I'm playing the game. <laughs> Unable to connect there. Nice kick, these guys are going at it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Horns out for the end of round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. Ready? Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots to oh, How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Trying to kick the leg out. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Nice. Strike lands cleanly there, champ. 
Oh, another strike to the torso right there. Got to get better defensively, or that's going to be a real factor as this fight continues. He's got to tuck that elbow. Yeah. I mean, he's got that elbow flaring, and every time his opponent's going right up under it, landing right to the body. He's got to do something different right now, or he's going to get to a point where he will not be able to continue this fight. Oh, nice kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Just a slip there. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Just over three minutes to go. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Oh, is that a switch kick? It's such a beautiful technique when done the right way. Just misses with the right. Oh, nice straight left. Oh, big head kick. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Two minutes to go in round two. Way to hide that leg kick. Lee's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Big parts land through the middle. Oh! oh my goodness! Oh! Just out of range with that right hand. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters in both. Oh, he smells blood in the water. Gotta start looking for the finish here. Just inches away from landing on those big right hands. Lands a jab. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Ooh, big shot lands. Lee's eye is closing up. Block there. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, and the oh. punch sounds on round two. Heading back to the corner now. Shabazian's got a cut to deal with above the eye, or perhaps better put, the cut man has got to deal with it. We'll see if he can stop the bleeding. All right, replay truck has been kept busy tonight as we get you some clips from that previous round, and maybe we can even isolate the strike that opened his cheek up. I mean, a cut on your cheek while it's in a better spot, it is still so hard to deal with. Every time that gets hit, it hurts so bad. He's going to have to move his head here. Ready to fight. Ready. Do it. Round three of a possible five. Strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, that's big. Oh, beautiful jab there by Lee. 
Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. What a thunderous head kick. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up, let's go. Leg kick now. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. All right, so a good job to... Oh, a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Shabazzian circling towards the left now. Nicely done with the kick there. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Gotta capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like, so when you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged, swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack it. Great shot from the top position. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking at? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. All right, there it is, another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps trying to set something up high later? Well, I think it's, I think it's all, it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top of that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top, and that is exactly what this guy is doing. Let's go. Look for that takedown. Under two minutes now to go. We got the turtle in that kick. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. He got it done with his strike, and he fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Beautiful kick lands there. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this I point in time. That kick. Oh, he's still hurt. Look at that. He can't even stand. Playing hook there. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Missed with that attempt. How technical is that? Nice straight punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, that head kick was nasty. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Lee gets caught by that backhand. Seconds winding down in round three. Headed to the championship rounds. All right, take a seat. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward.
Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the arena. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. But when he can hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in a fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not going to not get hit anymore. Right now, he's got to do something to try to limit the damage. Otherwise, he's going to get real bad. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, and he gets the single leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. He's doing a great job of recognizing that he's damaging his opponent, and he keeps going to that spot. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. And he's back in full guard now. Oh, big shots from the top. Shabazian's back in half guard. Oh, right into Mount. He's doing a really good job of putting himself in position. All right, so it has been punches and strikes. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Under three minutes to go in round four. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Shabazian's in half goal. Side control now. Now he's going full mount. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, he's got his back. Two minutes to go. Lee getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And now some separation. Oh, the hook lands. There's another one. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I got to protect him. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, big right hand. Big combination. Relax, relax. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Nice kick to the body. Clipped him with the right hand there. Four strikes to the head. Oh, that is a 
huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No. Because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. 15 seconds to go. His eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time. I'm not so sure they're not going to step in, Daniel, and stop this fight right now. Hard to be a one-eyed fighter in a mixed match. They're going at it here. Huge shots landing on both sides. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, that's the end of the round, and our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way right, to right. change some things defensively, right. or that cut right. is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. Good combination there by Lee. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Trying to establish that jab once again. Huge block there. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Leg kick lands. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. He blocks the shot. Well, you know Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart. Courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Don't work with that jab. Jab lands. Shabazian's taking aim at that cut right now. A strong decision by him to land strikes on an area that he has already done significant damage on. Oh, nice, nice. Beautiful little hook. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Great block there. Shabazian's body continues to get bruised up on that right side, courtesy of the body kicks and the body work from his opponent. Better make an adjustment soon as this fight continues. Not sure how many more of those he can take. being just offensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch lands. Lee's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Ground and pound the hammer Mark Coleman would be proud. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Mm, nice. Two minutes now to go in the fight. And he's back to his feet. Good side for him there. Drives the shin into the rim. Great body kick. Lee getting tattooed by that stiff jab. See the land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh! Oh! He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. 
All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight. Oh! He's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Lee's cut has really opened up now. That blood is flowing. Didn't necessarily wake up thinking he was going to be donating blood today. He has donated a whole lot of it. Takedown attempt starting to pile up. Gets to the single collar time. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Oh, they're trading good shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Dig and kick. right till the final horn. What a tremendous finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. All right, Ladies the and gentlemen, decision after is now in. Rounds, Here is Bruce. We go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 48-47, 49-46, and 49-46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision and Undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Edmund the Golden Boy, Shabazian. All right, so how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet. There he is, the now.